Hi, I'm David Parker, CEO of Entrepreneurship for All, e for all Let me get right to the point. I am encouraging every e for all business or nonprofit to strongly consider submitting an application for funding from the federal government's CARES Act and to get working on it today and submit your application tomorrow. You need to move fast. Applications start being processed tomorrow, Friday, April 3rd. It's first come, first served, and there will be millions of applications coming in from small businesses, so get moving on it right away. Who can participate in this? Almost every small business or nonprofit in the United States, if you have under 500 employees and we're in operation on February 15th this year, you're good to go. Sole proprietorships included. Only 1099 and gig economy folks have another deadline, which is a week later, next Friday the 10th. So you can wait on that. More information for you. I'm going to concentrate on tomorrow's opening for folks who have companies and nonprofits. Is this a loan or a grant? Loans, I'm sure, make you a little bit anxious. This is definitely a loan. If you don't spend the money as the government wants you to, you have to repay the government within two years. Otherwise, if you spend the funds on payroll, health benefits, rent, utilities, the loan will be forgiven. You will owe nothing. It's therefore a grant. So it could be a loan depending on you spend it, but really it's a grant. So how do you apply? The federal government is using banks to process the applications and distribute the cash. Call your bank today and ask them if they can process your PPP application and how you will submit the information. Try to reach somebody in person and find out whether you can email the application to them or do they have a web page with an application on it that you can process. If your bank is not processing these loans, hit the phone and call other local banks until you find one that says they can help you. What do you need to fill out the application? Really, only one thing. Proof of your company's spending on employee compensation, including you if you're the owner of the company. The easiest way to do this is to find your W-2 form for last year that you submitted as part of your taxes. The, on the W-2, there's a box for wages and compensation, total amount, that's your number. You divide that by 12 and that's your average spending. The only thing you have to keep an eye on is if any of your employees earn more than $100,000, you have to cap their spending at 100 k annually. In addition to the payroll information, gather your monthly costs for health benefits, rent, interest from mortgages, and utilities like electricity, gas, or internet phone. With all of that information, you can fill out the application. That's all you need. And the application is two pages, super easy to fill out. I'm not going to show you how to fill it out the, the application. There are great online resources to doing so. We are linking to them from e pages. Go to e and go to our COVID-19 resource page. You'll see links there. Don't forget, when you receive the cash back from the government, you have to spend it on payroll and on the other aspects that you told them that you were spending before the crisis. If you laid people off during this crisis, if you're a restaurant, for instance, you have to hire back the people and pay them for the next eight weeks at the same rate you were paying before the crisis hit. That's what the government wants you to do. So the money comes into you, the money goes out from you to those employees. If you did not lay people off or you laid a few people off and kept others, you still get all that money hire back the people you need to, and, uh, and hold on to that money. If you have extra, just keep it in reserves to help you through the next couple of months because times are tough. This is a great opportunity for every e for all business to gain cash from the government to help you be strong and get through this crisis. I really urge you to take advantage of this program. If it makes sense for you, feel free to reach out to e for all at the local teams. They can help you if, if possible. Best of luck getting through this. Take care.